What's up, guys? What's going We're on, back. everybody? Season two, episode three. I'm Season here. three, episode two. Which one is it? You don't know. But it's okay. <laughs> you gotta watch the episode. Find we don't out. know. <laughs> yeah. You can check us out on YouTube if you want to see previous shows. UE2E YouTube. So we got a nice, juicy packed show here for y'all today. That's the what the week of Valentine's here. Yeah. Valentine's yeah. Valentine's coming up this weekend. 2015. 2015. You guys Valentine's best believe that Waffle House has candlelit dinners. For Valentine's Day. I know where I'm going. And Handle that dinner with myself. Yeah. yeah. Me and that, that selfie stick. Seat. Special. That selfie everybody's got a special Saturday plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First of all, special making Saturday myself pancakes. Telling myself I love myself. You want to go see Fifty Shades of Grey by yourself? You want to go with me? We, uh, oh. We've got a packed show coming up. We've got what's happening, a lot of big news going on. We've got a countdown. Yeah. We've Logan's got a, got a new countdown for us. Got Segments. a notification. Yeah, mm -hmm. got yeah. some awesome Caleb's stuff. Caleb's new one. Caleb's got a new notification. That was a pretty good segment last yeah. week. Yeah, we've got a couple flexes for y'all later, too. A little main advice. Mm hmm So when we come back, we'll go right into what's happening. Yep, we'll let y'all know. Yeah, see you in a minute. I want smaller classes, bigger discussions, and personal attention from my professors. Knowing that they care is really important to me. I want to make sure Brian knows that I'm in his corner. I really care about my students. That's why I come to work every day. My professors believe in me, and I know I'll do just fine when I transfer to a university. That's why I chose Gulf Coast. Staying up to date with Gulf Coast State College just got easier with the new mobile app. It's a quick and convenient way to view college events and upcoming dates, your class schedule and grades, important announcements in social media, and the interactive map for all of our campuses. You can even chat live with a librarian and get help with a research project. The free mobile app is available for Apple and Android devices. Simply scan the code or search for Gulf Coast State College on the App Store or Play Store and download it today. What's up, everybody? We're back. We're going to kick off this round here with some what's happening, some big news. Yeah. I'm on. So let's kick into what's happening. What's happening? What's happening? Big news if you're a comic book fan. February 9th, Sony announced the news everyone had been waiting for. Spider-Man is set to join the Avengers. That's what? right. Spider-Man. So cool. The next character of his $4 billion superhero franchise will be co-produced by Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige, along with their very own chairman, Amy Passel. Though it appeared Andrew Garfield will not be returning as a famous web slinger, according to The Wrap, Andrew Garfield is being replaced by someone we haven't yet met. But, you know... They won't let us down. Don't and he won't let us down. Other Marvel characters will be joining Spider-Man's movies, and vice versa for Spider-Man. Spider-Man is set to appear in the new Captain America movie, Silver War, which premieres next year. Stoked for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty fast, too. Like, they just, like, got him incorporated. It's crazy. Lots of Marvel fans around the world are just crying. He was to bring joy. back Tobey Maguire. I'm, uh, he was a good Spider-Man. Andrew He's Garfield right. was... He had, it was for his time. I don't think it would be as good as it was then. I think Andrew Garfield was perfect. They're talking about introducing the ultimate Spider-Man, which is the one where Peter Parker dies, and that Spider-Man's black. So they want Donald Glover. Yeah, Donald Glover. A.K.A. Childish Gambino wow, that would be to so play cool him. Too. That'd, be pretty, that'd be pretty sick. Well, in more media news with Apple, the Apple Watch is entering the market in April. We know the Apple Watch will start at $349 in the U.S. for the aluminum and glass Apple Watch sport, but we don't know what higher high-end tiers the watch will cost or what accessories will be priced at. What does it do? The Apple Watch is a music player like an iPod, a fitness tracker with heart rate measurements, a communications device that will send and receive messages, calls and audio recordings, and handheld portal to other apps too. It also makes payments via Apple Pay, so it can be like your wallet. It can also control your Apple TV and act as a remote for uh, connected smart home devices. That's pretty... So basically, it does about everything and tells the time. That's pretty awesome, actually. It is, like, isn't and I, it? I feel like since it's an Apple, it's going to have that sound quality. Now, instead of everybody <laughs> everybody looking down like this, everybody's going to be looking down like this. On the watch. <laughs> Everywhere yeah. you go. I mean, Samsung's watches are like already like taken off, so when you have Samsung, you have Apple. They're just going to propel each other. Mm -hmm. and then watch I know we had a picture to put up in there too at some point but yeah it looks really cool the too. The company's yeah. what worth over 700 billion dollars now. A lot of money. So yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be a, another investment or a lot of I guess profit for them I guess because it's it's a everybody's been waiting on it mm -hmm. you know, especially since oh, yeah. the other Android devices everybody's came out. Everybody's gonna feel like a secret spy. Are you gonna get a watch brand new? I don't know I mean uh, A you have to charge them because the battery life's on your own right good depending on what you use True. and then 
I'm assuming you're not going to be able to, like, say you're in college and stuff and you're taking tests, they're probably going to start banning watches, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because your watch could have formulas or something, whatever, so... There's a it's, PDF file on there. Yeah, or whatever, your cheat sheet or something, you know? Or you could be typing messages to your friends, whatever. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, I know the smartwatch I have, I can text from, take pictures on, do all sorts of, st all, uh, sorts of stuff on it. I, I like the benefits of, like, having the fitness stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you're doing exercising or walking, no, biking, whatever... You know, it can tell you. There's tons of cool things you can do with it. They can check your heart rates and stuff and everything, so it's yeah. it's pretty cool. Alrighty. Huge <laughs> news of the year. <laughs> you love video games. Zelda might be coming to a live action series such as The Flash and Arrow. Unlike Flash and Arrow, though, this show will be on Netflix. That's mm. that's crazy. That Legend of Zelda, one of the best video games of all time, is now getting its own. I have not played action. a single game. Wow. <laughs> of Zelda at all. Well, Actually, on I the have show now, I guess. <laughs> on the, I played it on the. Um, Game Boy, yeah, like old so fashioned Game Boy, game. Huh? yeah. The old yes, Link's Awakening games. That Twilight huh? Majira's Mask is and coming that. out tomorrow, actually. Really? Yeah, I mean, like tomorrow, as in February thirteenth for 3DS. Valentine's Day before, yeah, for 3DS. The day before Valentine's Day. Yeah. But no, they're doing the uh, live action Zelda stuff, and you know, I just found out the other day they're also doing a Daredevil one too. Yeah. Yes, I saw the trailer. So Netflix for that. is yeah. getting ripped. Who's going to be Link? Madonna. Who could be Link? Madonna. No game. Madonna looks like Link. Does it look a guy? I'm just saying she looks like Link. Brandon? Maybe like Orlando Bloom. <laughs> Orlando Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some uh, big news coming out of Facebook world. You can now assign a friend or a family member to take over your Facebook when you die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The offer requested feature allows you to choose Facebook, a friend to be a legacy contact who will serve as a kind of executor of your social network page. Their friend can post information such on your behalf, such as funeral details, respond to new friend requests, Update your profile photo. I don't know what you would put there, but Facebook is a legacy contact. Can actually log into your account, change or delete any post, past posts, read your messages. Um, basically, you have full access to control to your Facebook profile. To me, I think it's it's kind of I don't know. I know it's it's hard to judge. Do you want someone to take over your profile, or do you just want your account to disappear? That's I would rather I mean, just my account disappear on. if I'm dead, you know. Can I be that dead. to you? Yeah, sure. When I die, I want you to... Okay, if it's my social media, why do I need to have social media Who when I'm dead? Who better to represent you than like, me? Like, hey guys, heaven's awesome. Like, chilling with... We could do this together. My final social media post will be whatever obituary <laughs> is written about me. That That's my last post. <laughs> my final post is going to be like, he still got jades, though. Bury me in Jordan's. With Jordan. Why are you telling Aaron to bury you? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Aaron's going to be there the when one I die. Bury you. I feel like Aaron's going to be there when I die. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. It's, I don't know. It's To me, it's... Do you want people to take over your stuff? I mean, because that's... I mean, what? Four billion people log in every day, so there's people constantly viewing stuff. Before, they had the remembering page where you could put remembering someone if they passed away. Yeah. You just had to prove that the person passed away or was no longer alive. It's too hard. Like, why you got to... So now you're giving someone access to post on your behalf, so... I don't know. I mean, stuff's still there. It's it's on the internet. It's on the database. It's in the cloud somewhere. I say but just like let it be. If it's gone, it's gone. Let it be. Yeah. All right. Coming up after up after the break, we're gonna uh, do Logan's countdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're also gonna do Caleb's nerd thing. Yeah. So when we come right back, we'll check out Logan's countdown and the notification. Come so stay back tuned. with friends. See you in a second. I want a career sooner rather than later. I was looking for a perfect fit, and I found it at Gold Coast State College. Students like Stephanie are already getting jobs. Our workforce graduates are in high demand, and we're committed to helping them succeed. I am excited about my future. I can't wait to have my own restaurant, and that's why I chose Gold Coast. I want a job where my skills make a difference. I discovered plenty of career options at Gulf Coast State College. Candace is being trained by medical professionals, and she's definitely going to be prepared. We offer more than 150 programs. Some take less than a year to complete. My dream is to work with a cardiac team. I want my patients to feel they're in capable hands. That's why I chose Gulf Coast. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. <laughs> All right. 
We're coming to you guys with the countdown, laughing them on. <laughs> yeah. and Logan. Logan's got a packed countdown for you. <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty, check this out. It's pretty awesome. Here it is. Go. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to The Countdown. Today I'm gonna to bring to you the top five most played sports in the world. Number five is tennis. The origins of tennis is still a bit of a mystery. Some people believe it's a variation of a game played by the ancient Egyptians, Romans, maybe even the Greeks. The sports was originally played by hitting a ball against a wall over and over again with your hand. Then starting in the 16th century, tennis rackets were, they were shaped differently, but they were used. The tennis balls, though, they were made of leather stuffed with hair or wool and were hard enough to seriously injure or sometimes even kill a player. How pleasant. Number four is volleyball. The game of volleyball was invented around 1895, four years after basketball, actually. The game was designed to be a combination of basketball, baseball, tennis, and handball. It eventually became clear that the standard rules were needed to play a tournament, and thus the United States Volleyball Association was formed in 1928. Today there are more than 800 million volleyball players worldwide, 46 million of which are in the U.S. Number three is hockey. In some forms, hockey has been played for about well, for hundreds of years. It was thought to be one of the earliest sports played in the world, being played by, the, again, the ancient Greeks, Egyptians, Persians, Romans, and Arabs, actually. A game resembling modern field hockey was played in public schools in England early in the 19th century. A, former, a form of roller skate hockey was played first in uh, Kent, England at the beginning of the 12th century. The modern game of ice hockey was invented in the mid 1850s by British soldiers based in Canada. So yeah, in some, in some way, shape or form, hockey has been played for a really, really long time now. But number two is cricket. Cricket is thought to be originated by English shepherds who developed the game while they were guarding their flocks. England's national pastime, which is now played throughout the world, particularly in uh, Australia, India, Pakistan, West Indies, and the British Isles, was supposedly the first game ever played in the U.S. with a bat and a ball. It eventually evolved into the national pastime of baseball. But number one is soccer. It's, it was pretty easy to guess, and if you know much about sports, you, it's pretty common knowledge that soccer is the most watched sport in the world. Subsequently, the most popular sport. Although, I don't think anyone really knows for sure when this sport was actually being played originally. Early variations of the game, however, was played in ancient warlike societies. Except their version of the sport was kind of grim. Using the head of a dead king from a rival tribe. Yay. Anyway, guys, that's the top five most popular sports played in the world. I'm Logan, and I'll see you next time. That was pretty cool. Thank you, Logan. I'm feeling a lot more athletic after watching that. <laughs> Go home now, and earn Next that week, donut. Logan's going to have another packed countdown. Yeah, yeah. stay right. tuned. Now, now to get it's a time little, for... Get a little nerdy. A little nerd, nerdification. A little weirdy and nerd. Let's kick it Taylor, Caleb. Caleb, Caleb with the over. intro. Yeah. You go, dog.
Hello, I'm Caleb, and this is Nerd Edification, where I tell you about the best nerdy news of the week. First off, we have Sega announced that since it's apparently downsizing its company, Sonic Runners is apparently going to be the new Sonic game for mobile devices, and will be released in 2015 in Japan. Ugh. Ubisoft is giving back the keys it took away. After finding that several keys for Ubisoft games were fraudulently purchased with stolen credit cards and then allegedly resold to third-party digital retailers, Ubisoft began deactivating games on customers' Uplay accounts. Ubisoft said that after further investigation into the matter of keys that were fraudulently purchased on EA's Origin Store, we are reinstating keys for consumers who have already had successfully activated and started playing the games. Any remaining fraudulently attained and resold keys have been deactivated. Superman gets a new superpower. The Super Flare is what they call it. And he also gets a new costume afterwards. So this new power will make him even more overpowered than he already is. This will take place in the final arc of The Man of Tomorrow. Casting has reportedly begun for TNT and Warner Brothers' Titans Plot, a live-action television pilot based on the DC comic series The Teen Titans. The Titans roster will feature a mix of new and established Teen Titan characters, including Dick Grayson as both Robin and Nightwing. Robert Gordon, Hawk, and Dove, Raven, and Starfire, according to the Nerdist. Per the Nerdist report, Dick Grayson will initially suit up as Robin as he patrols Boston while he is and strained from his mentor, Batman. It is expected that Grayson will eventually take on the mantle of Nightwing in the new show. No sign of Cyborg or Beast Boy yet. At some universities, they are trying out a new thing to make a game out of keeping your phone in your pocket. Students will earn pocket points to get free stuff or discounts. Everyone will get more points if everyone puts their phone away at the same time. I say we need that here. Come on guys, I'm broke. I go to school. I need free stuff. Rooster Teeth announced earlier this week that animator Monty Ohm died at age 33. The 33-year-old was hospitalized over the weekend for a severe allergic reaction during a simple medical procedure that put him in a coma. He worked on Ruby and even at the Afro Samurai game. No further details have been released about Monty. He will be missed. An early and as yet unverified report from Film Divider suggests that evil shoes of Star Trek III's villain has been filled. Breaking Bad's Alan Brian Cranston has been linked to the space set threequel for a role that's apparently Brian Cranston-like, to the point that Cranston himself has had words with the studio about taking the role. While, while his involvement in the third Trek installment is far from guaranteed, his deadpan stylings would make him a brilliant match for the Enterprise crew. Plans for Star Wars inside Disney theme parks have been planned since the acquisition from George Lucas. If you wanted to see Mickey Mouse and Darth Vader hug or duel, well, you may soon get the chance. Disney chief Bob Iger told Wall Street analysts that there's a fair amount of design and development taking place by the company's Imagineers. To greatly increase Star Wars presence in multiple locations around the world, shortly after the Mouse House announced another strong financial quarter, the plans are ambitious. So it's going to take some time for them to build and open the theme. The future attractions will be based off the new films and spinoffs, none of the old stuff. That's all the news I have for you this week. If you want to see more in-depth news, check out the Nerd Edification Hour podcast on YouTube and go like our Facebook page. Oh, and my Twitter account as well, which is at Nerd Edification. And until next week, stay fancy. Great job, Caleb. Thank Very you, Caleb. Guess it's time for some man vice. Yeah. 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 America. Or trip to start us off. I will man. start us off. Dear the crew, I'm trying to figure out what love is. I thought I knew, but now I'm not too sure. What do you think love is, Amon? I think you need to go home and listen to some foreigner. I want to know what love is. That's exactly what you need listen to do. Listen to Kanye's 2008 album, Heartbreak. Or listen, it's 808 and Heartbreaks. It's or heartbreak. listen to Hathaway's What is Love? So baby, is don't Trip in me. Love right now? No, Mo. Are you in love? I think no. Spotify probably has a few playlists <laughs> I don't for believe you. in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> who doesn't believe in love? That's an interesting. No, we'll save that for another well, show. What am I? I'm in. I'm in love with myself. I'm in love with <laughs> if nature. If that didn't answer your question, nothing will. I like yeah. waking up. I, I am kind of like Kanye. Con oh, you're West. Kanye, yeah. You know, you got Except Valentine's coming up. Yeah. So, what would love mean to you for Valentine's? A Rolex for Valentine's? What would love mean for me for Valentine's? <laughs> love for me on Valentine's Day means going to Waffle House Waffle for their House. candle and dinner. Aww. Or McDonald's. I, w- I will bring Linda with me. Aww. Aww. And Shout out. And we will enjoy waffles. Shout out to Linda on, with the candle at dinner. Aww. That's romantic. Yeah, it's romantic and it's five dollars. So you, you don't get like wow. any chocolate or anything or any kind of. I mean, chocolate waffles. I remember last year on the crew we were talking about like. Um, last year we had all the hearts. Yeah. yeah. All behind. I had us. the hearts and stuff, and we had the uh, you know jewelry and stuff, whatever. Yeah. But I think just lo- chocolate maybe this year. I yeah. think you just roses, gotta, you just flowers. Take it down Actually, with Aaron, flowers. what what's your plan for Valentine's Day? What is it? Well, uh, to, uh, um, get tons of money from couples at work. Shout out to couples at work. Hey, Hustling. Well, I What's plan to plan? hustle. Uh, my plan is I'm just going to chill and see what happens. I thought we were going to Waffle House. Yeah, we're going to Waffle House. Okay. Mine's yeah. always the Waffle Come to Dave & Buster's. Oh, uh, this we'll Valentine's, Buster's. I, yeah. I, I think I'll just keep it simple because it's, you know. All right, guys. Next letter. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it now, right? That's love. That's what love. love, Aaron. All You're right. By yourself, Next letter. When is too soon to think about marriage? I mean, I don't even have a steady relationship, but I see all my friends getting married and whatnot, and I just sit and think, when is it my turn? When you have a committed relationship? Maybe. When you know what love From is. From Anonymous. Hmm. When you know what love is, I think that's when you can get married. Sometimes <laughs> you should never get married. <laughs> we have yeah. a guy back there saying never get married, so. <laughs> Take it from a personal yeah. friend. Um, maybe, you know, think about it real hard. And, and real yeah. long. Like, real hard and real long. Just don't do it. Just, just become friends <laughs> Make forever. sure, you know... Ma- wait make, for the right time, but don't wait too long. Make very sure. Why do you need titles? Very sure. As long yeah. as you know that, like, it's Gucci. Why you gotta get married? I'm should. actually gonna plead the fifth on that one, so next question. Next All question. All right, moving on. Uh, good question here. Dear the crew, how do I be assertive without sounding like a jerk? I mean, stuff needs to get done and get done right. But some people are just seem to be on their own wavelength when I'm talking. Mm, I guess it's about respect. If people respect you, stuff will get done, but don't be a jerk. Yeah. You know? I mean, make your point. If they don't understand your point, explain it again. Patience is really big in this aspect. Understand that not everyone's going to see something the same way that you do. Yeah. So, yeah, you just got to, like, try and... Try to find a, a common ground. Is like just no find help. a common ground and get things done. Yeah, just because if not, stuff is you're either gonna butt heads or stuff's not gonna get done properly. Take it from this guy: if stuff's not getting done, ain't nobody happy. Yeah. And remember, the most important thing is what you have to do. So your egos and everything else is not important right then. So if someone's better suited to do what you're doing, help them out or get some knowledge from him. Don't be a butt. All right, our Don't last crew letter. Okay, last mm-hmm. letter. Dear the crew. How do I help someone who needs help but won't admit that they need help? I care deeply about this person and I can see that they need help but they won't admit it. Huh. Okay, Logan. What you need to do is... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You can't call him out like that. Okay, I don't even know who this is about. Um, Because our letters are anonymous because we respect you guys. Okay, so... Hmm. Let me see. If they need help but they won't accept your help, well, that depends on what type of help. Is it? Are they in a? If they're like in an abusive relationship, or they have like some type of addiction, then like you know you just gotta be tough and you gotta like listen. Like this is not good for you. But if like they're just like, if they're just like really bad at a video game and won't yeah. admit that they need help, and just you know, it, go ahead and kick them off your squad. It pretend it pertains to the severity know. of what's going on actually. If you're trying to do a very important raid. Yeah, you know. your own destiny. Exactly. They won't get online. Just be like, homie. If they're just not that good and they're bringing you down. They're you can't do Vault of Glass because of them. Yeah, if it's like a drug problem or something, real talk for a second, then you need help. I mean, like, you got to think about your future. You got to think about what you're doing. It's probably wasting money. You got to think about their future. Yeah, you got to think about You got to think about them and you got to think about yourself. And sometimes you might need an outside source because they see you as someone who's always going to be there, so they're just going to do whatever and take advantage of the Drugs is not their outside source. Nah. You need to be it. You don't even know what that is. You need to tell them what love is. All right. That was our man advice segment for the day. I hope it helped someone. Yeah. Because it helped me. If you have any man advice... 
questions or can you want to comments you want to get to us you can always find us on facebook crew, facebook facebook.com backslash the crew five number five we're uh, how many likes we got now 171 not enough not we, enough. we need to get what 200 we get 300 for the semester on james's head Aaron and I are eating wings. Like, this is going to be promoted to you. I'm not shaving my head. Find this us on yeah. Facebook. I'll cover this desk in wings and eat Facebook. all of them. Facebook.com. Yes. All of the wings are going to be everywhere. big desk. All of the wings. All of the wings. Facebook.com. Buffalo. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Find oh, us, yeah. like us. Cool. Find us, like us. Hug us. We're in, the, we're in your city. Send us Valentine's Day letters. We're in your city, guys. We're in your city. Once again, I've been a Montville, y'all. And Trip Whistler. I'm Brandon. I still am Aaron Adams. Peace. We'll see you next week on The Crew. Word to your mother.